Ja, die hoog, dan ga je zitten. Ja, dat is ook wel. Hè? So today I'm teaming up with Pascal again. You probably know him from the wake surf video a couple of weeks ago and he's also a snowboard teacher and we have a very special item today to share with you because we live in Belgium, we don't have any mountains and still we have top snowboarders like Seppe Smits, Seppe de Buck, Stefke van der Weyer all scoring very high in the ranks and yeah, we don't have any mountains so how do we train him? Check it out! All right, we're ready to go and check out the spot in Henk and there's a few options in Belgium to snowboard when you don't have any mountains. One is you can do seasons. I used to do them in the past. You work for a long time and then you go into the mountains for a couple of months to train. Another facility that we have are the indoor tracks and the one that we're going to check today is something new for me too. So I'm very curious on what we can expect. See you there. So I just arrived at the spot and by looking around I already see some really cool features going up and down and some forests, some uh, ponds and, and water. I really start to like it around here. I've been here a couple of times lately. Uh, this is Limburg, a really a green part of Flanders and there's really a very chill atmosphere in this part of Belgium. I like it. Yeah. Dan zie je zo wat blauw wit. Ja. Daar is het. Ideaal. En dat is heel gemakkelijk eigenlijk. Ik kom wel op straal en Ja, het is echt al uh, gracht hier vlot ook. Hè. Ja, en wat is het voordeel? Wat is het voordeel als ze buitenlandse teams bijvoorbeeld hebben, die kunnen daar slapen. Hè? Want dat is van sport, uh, sport Vlaanderen, ja. denk ik. Heel dat gebouw, dan allemaal slaapelkralen, die hebben daar een eetzaal, die hebben daar alles. Heel Douches. Dat, hier, dat is, die, dat die is die allemaal sport Vlaanderen. En, uh, hier. Ja. Wojo! Check deze man. <laughs> Looking good! There's an even bigger jump coming! Right there! <laughs> kicker is quite high I didn't expect it to be this big man it's like a container and a half a meter on top of that and then you gotta fly so quite the distance but they're still gonna inflate this pillow and the pillow is also gonna rise so that makes the landing very soft and ideal to train check it out are already getting me wet but it feels really nice sun is coming out so this is gonna be a treat and as you can see they're building a new structure here which is even gonna be a bigger jump a bigger kicker it's like gonna be how do you say that Pascal a city big air a city big air so they can do official competitions here in Belgium how cool is that let's like check it. out the landing Oh, will you? <laughs> Bangarang! <laughs> so you fly coming from there 
all over here. Bam! What? Check this out! I thought it was really gonna be soft, but actually it's a hard material which kind of works like a brush and Pascal mentioned that it really feels like snow so I'm, I'm getting curious on the only how difference this is the sound that it makes but yeah. the feeling is like 95% the same as real snow nice one I'm really curious to see these guys jump here today I'm not gonna jump I'm still recovering from my herniated disc in my neck so I'm not gonna take take this chance I haven't jumped for a while so it would not be a good idea to jump something that big but definitely gonna show you some cool footy tonight Hey, this is called a dry slope but still they need some water to make it nice and smooth so that you can get some speed I just walked on these mats or whatever it is and it's really nice you have a good grip but still it's very slippery and the water helps for that and as you can see the airbag is fully inflated and now they have a really big and soft pillow to land on Pascal mentioned that it's a lot better than the flat pillows because they used to have like flat airbags and that was a lot harder for like yeah you could get you could even get a whiplash from that so with this it's going downhill which kind of catches your impact and makes you slide like in a slip and slide so let's see what that will give us Right, everybody's preparing himself and they are taking on wetsuits because the jump is gonna be wet to be able to slide and people also need to protect themselves. So because of that, they're all taking on wetsuits so they do not get harmed. Eerste impressie? Uh, raar gevoel, maar voor, beter, voor verbetering vatbaar. Hè. Hoppa.
<laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> switch, bitch. Well, switch. Like a pinball machine. <laughs> Oh, but I'm too fucking hot. <laughs> yeah, a bit too, there's no one. Cool down. Yeah, but it's because you get wet. And when the wind comes a little bit up, you really have a chilly feeling on wet clothes. And that's not good when you're into freestyle stuff. The body needs to be warm to have a good flexibility. Not to get injured. But on the back, yeah, it's like being a kid in a jumping castle, or how you say it? <laughs> like that, man. <laughs> a jumping castle. <laughs> You'll understand. Yeah, I'm trying. Never did it in my uh, younger years. <laughs> That's why you get old, man, to try new stuff. Yeah, the brains come with getting older they say so now I understand that you go upside down <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pascal almost 40 and still in top shape Running yeah. to get that shot. Let's try this sketchy setup. I want to get up there to film something. So let's try this sketchy setup. <laughs> sketchy business. Ah! I was just kneeling down to film something and as you can see here in the ground they still have some parts of the old track this whole mountain used to be a track like this and this was really dangerous to break your fingers I'll show you a bit closer if you used to get in between here like with your fingers then you were really fucked I just love this place all right it's already after six and I'm starting to get hungry so let us check in the car what we have to eat Right on. Lots of nature around here. I love it when it's green all over the place. Woohoo! Alright, I got myself my little lunchbox so I can fill up my stomach. I got the one wheel to get some butter smooth shots and let's go and check out what they are up to.
as this installation uses a lot of water I checked with Pascal and actually down at the bottom of the landing they have a big reservoir where they catch all the water they pump it back up so that they can reuse the most water there is some water vaporizing but most of it they try to re reuse and recycle peace this session is so lit that it started raining and thundering tours in the house in the pattern is there, you know what? Coming. <laughs> There's uh, suddenly a heavy wind that comes up and rain, pretty typical in Belgium. Yeah. If we have a warm day like this, it always has to storm. Damn, yeah. good session, really good session by the guys. As you can see, this thing is really motivating to learn new tricks. We used to do this on the slopes, the indoor slopes, which were ice. And that's a lot harder than learning anything on this thing because you can land in a soft way. You can spin everything that you would try in the powder. So this is a really good addition for the Belgian snowboard team. All right. The shit has hit the fan. The rain is coming. Lightning thunder is here, but we're still alive. <laughs> okay, let's just pick up the one wheel and our other stuff and Let's get in the car! <laughs> it suddenly became night! Bang! Fuck. This is the only place I can hide and I'm actually in a pretty dangerous place. It's wet all around. There's electricity here. So, I think I just have to go for it. De bedoeling dat dat open, nee, nee, openbaar is voor mensen die kunnen snowboarden, skiën en een freestyle bezig zijn. Want je kunt nooit iemand die uh, zeg maar één keer in het jaar of een week gaat snowboarden, die nooit in een puntpark komt, die gaat hier niet van af. Rain in Belgium, it's not gonna stop. So, let's go. 